we'll start with the basic setting company code is same company is same then fiscal year variant is same no changes then we have the posting period variant so here we have the we have some changes so if you see here earlier we used to have that posting period variant screen which will just show you all your variants available in the screen okay but if yeah. you want to see your posting period variant only then in the new screen or in the s4 hana platform we have our relevant posting period variant information and another we can ignore for example this is my posting period variant so the system will not show me the other information related to the other company code okay it will just show me the opening closing information for my posting period variant but if i want to see the information for my other uh, posting period variant in that case what i need to do i can just click on this maintain all if i click on maintain all system will show me all the variants available in the in the system yeah okay then in the ecc screen if you would have uh, observed we used to have two interval here you can just see this is the first interval and this is the second interval yeah now in the s4 hana we have i'll also show you we can also do the comparison i'm opening ob52 screen in the ecc and you can see here we have two interval period one period two but here we have been given the third interval so what is the use of this third interval sometime it is asked in the interview so the use of the third interval is for the costing for the ceo so if we will keep it as blank then what will happen so you know that we we do the opening closing in the fi same way we can also do the opening closing in the ceo but if yeah. if you are saying that uh, no my opening closing periods are different from the period we have uh, we want to get open in the ceo in that case you can give the range of your ceo period in the interval 3 okay yeah. but in case your opening closing of period in the ceo are same as your fi period then in that case you can keep them blank so okay. automatically whatever the period you have open for your fi so system is going to open for your ceo automatically and in case it is different then you need to mention here that particular different or what 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 are the set of period you want to get open that you need to specify over here so that is the use of the interval 3 then the next change we have it is with respect to the uh, gl master data as you just mentioned so here we have the gl master data where we can see the uh, gl account type we have the gl account type and you can just see this is the let me just show you the ecc1 so here you can just see this is a screen we have in the for the gl master data in the ecc where we have the radio button we have here two option pnl account and balance sheet account now the same has been extended by the sap in the sap s4 hana and that is or uh, now we have here four uh, gl account type so this is the pnl you can just see the primary cost or revenue this is nothing but your uh pnl account type then we have the balance sheet account type and these are the two new account types we have with the name secondary cost and non operative income or expense you know that what is the use of the secondary cost and for that we need to also maintain a dedicated uh, account group under the chart of account under the chart of account now we have the non operative yeah. account so what are the non operative income or expense account Uh, it is not related with uh, primary business. Correct. So if it is not, yeah. So if these are not related to the core activities of the business, then we yeah. should take them in the controlling or in the CEO. Of course not. So for that, yeah. what we will be doing, we will be, we will not be maintaining any cost element for the balance sheet account as well as for the non-operative account. Yeah. unlike the primary cost and secondary cost for them we need to give the cost element category and based on the based on the gl account we have selected system is going to change your 
control data tab screen so you can just see this is a screen we have and for example i am going to create a gl that is 200 110 or let it be 200 115 that is the gl i'm going to create in the company code 2187 so i will go to the first tab that is the type and description and now we can go to the or let's say i will take the reference from okay let's go and create it so we have the balance sheet account we have the account group as it is a asset then we can give any name let it be bank account bank account now since we have selected this balance sheet what will happen if you go to the control data tab what you will observe you observe here no cost element category option is there yeah okay. you can just see no cost element category option is there and also you will observe that now in the s4 hana uh, sap gives you the option of open item management only that line item checkbox has been uh, discontinued so now by default for all your gl you will get the line item <laughs> okay but it is optional that you want to have the open item then select it otherwise you can deselect it now here if i will okay this is the uh, gl the balance sheet gl we can we can see here and we we can't find out the cost element category but here if i change the gl uh, account type so let it be the gl account type as expense let it be 400,010 uh, in the same company code if i create it and it doesn't exist so let's create it with the new entry option and here we can take it as a primary cost or revenue because it is my regular consumption gl then uh, i will take it under the expense account and this is the name i will take it here the material consumption account material consumption account now hello everyone welcome to our channel please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for the latest videos and notifications you can contact us for online sap trainings and certifications thank you now based on this information based on the tab we have or the account group and type we have selected as a primary cost or revenue what will happen if you see the control data tab here you will find the changes so now what you will find out you will observe here the system would have added some additional uh, section where we can give the cost element category so this will come for your primary ad or for your primary or revenue cost element as well as for your secondary cost so here we can also check it for the secondary and the range i have given for the secondary it is nine all zero one and then we can go to the new entry option and here i'm taking the type as secondary cost and then we can take it here the name as um, activity overhead activity overhead now we can go to the control data tab and again we will find out the changes so system would have here asked for the cost element category okay the same is not going to be asked when you will be taking next time any account type which is the non-operative income or expense okay so that is the difference with respect to the gl master data okay thanks for watching this video you can like comment share also email us for more details thank you